looking for the spot welds. Not sure what happened here. I don't think that's factory. Looks like somebody's been in here before. There's some filler back in here. Something happened here. All right, starting to peel the onion back a little bit. And, uh, ooh, it's rusty. They were in here doing something. This does not look factory. So at some point they got in here and that brazing I don't think is factory either. It looks like somebody got in here at some point because there's some filler behind here. And it's pretty rusty. It's pretty scary. <laughs> so, but luckily it looks like most of this is surface rust. All right, let's keep going. All right. We're gonna go ahead and cut this whole thing off. You see it's totally gone there. I think we're just gonna come along here and cut this out right here. This little thing right here is holding on like a little brace. And that thing up in there might be, it's like a little air vent that might be connected as well. And then there's another brace back here. And behind that, you can kind of see where the fender connects to that tailpiece.
we're going to need a new fender. Well, it's almost off. There's an air vent thing here that goes up in here. and It's, it's pretty rusty. That's holding, that's a, that's a holdout. That's holding on. Just trying to twist it off a little bit. Fender. It's mint. It's mint. Ah, oh, we might be able to save it. It's pretty bad. We might be able to save some of it. Alright. All right, guys. Ooh, that's pretty scary. This is a rusty one. It's a rusty one. Not, uh, <laughs> yeah. There's a little hole right there we gotta fix. There's some rust going on here. This is pretty, Typical, the jack point gets all rusted out. And uh, this one's probably a little rustier than some, but yeah. This is uh, pretty bad. We're just gonna have to spend some time in this area, get this all cleaned up, and see what we're working with. Gotta get all this uh, undercoating off. It'll take a little while. I'm hoping that hopefully the suspension area is still good. Let's clean these bolts up a little bit. I don't know what's that. Are they welded on there? I'm not sure what's going on there. Got a hole. I'm gonna 
cut this open. See how bad it is in there. All right, we got that hole opened up a little bit better. Doesn't look too bad in there. There's some surface rust in there, you can see it. You can still see the clean metal. They must have put some sort of protective coating. They probably dipped the whole car or all the panels were already coated, possibly, um, and some sort of primer. But we'll spray all that with Osfo let it dry and uh, clean it out really good and we'll hit it with some epoxy primer or protective rust primer in there and then we'll close that hole up I think we'll be okay with that the rest of it looks pretty good I still got to take all this undercoating off but I'm I'm pretty sure that uh, it's pretty solid under there I'm not seeing any rust up in here, which is pretty good. Let's keep cleaning off this undercoating and dig in there a little bit more. Maybe uh, cut this hole open just a little bit more and see what's going on back there. Maybe knock that uh, jack cover off and just keep going, keep digging in. Let's do it. We're getting there. We get all this stripped down, cleaned up. All right, we gotta get all this off first. All right, we're getting there. We got most or all of the uh, undercoating off on this area. It's looking pretty good. We've exposed most of the uh, rust issues, although there's more hiding behind there. We got to figure out this. I don't know if they make this piece or not, but this piece is pretty bad, this bottom lip here. I don't want to take it off yet, and I need to find out what I'm going to do here. Probably just going to have to fab this up. 
we'll clean off all these edges. All these edges will come off. All this stuff will come off right here. And right here where they boogered it up. We'll get all that off. We'll clean up these edges really good. And get that all down to bare metal. Get this lip off of here. We're probably gonna have to get a donor piece. Just cut this along here. Let's get this cleaned up and keep going. All right, it's looking better. We're getting there. I'm gonna hit it with uh, some 80 grit and clean it up some more. I wanna get it bare metal all over and then we'll start cutting into this and just keep digging in. But as we do the bare metal, we can see what's going on and we can see what we can keep and what we have to fix. And we'll end up covering everything with OSFO to protect it. Yeah. All right, let's hit it with some 80 grit. All right, guys, it's getting late. I'm about to go home. But before I do, I want to hit all this with some OSFO. And that way overnight, it'll work on some of this rust. We're just going to hit all this with OSFO. And it's just going to protect the bare metal that we've exposed. And it's going to kill the rust that's still on there. Hopefully. And we're still gonna go over most of this. Some of this is still gonna get cut out. Some of this is gonna get gone over again with the DA and the wire wheel. We're just gonna keep digging in until we get all this stuff off. There'll be bare metal everywhere, but this will just uh, start the process in some of these areas.
it's kind of nasty. You don't really want to get it on your concrete. You don't want to breathe it in or get it in your eyes. It's acidic, so it'll burn a little bit. But it works. Works good. Probably gonna end up cutting all that off anyway. This is definitely gonna get all cut off, so I don't wanna spray too much there, but. That should do it for now. Cool. That's all gonna get cut out. Yeah, a lot of this stuff's gonna get cut out, guys. Well, it doesn't hurt to start the process. All right, cool. Let that sit overnight. We'll come back, see what it looks like. All right, guys, it's the next day. Osfo has been doing its work. It's pretty cool how that stuff works. It's an acid. It kind of etches it, I guess, somehow, and just kind of neutralizes the rust and protects the metal. It's pretty cool how it works. But most of that, we're just going to let that sit so it doesn't flash rust. It's still drying a little bit. The tarp worked really well. You don't want to get it on your concrete because it kind of eats away at the concrete. Um, but yeah, it's a little scary. There's a lot of rust issues, guys. But we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep diving in and we're going to fix everything we can. Hopefully it gets to a point to where it feels like, okay, this is possible. Right now it's a little, I'm a little worried. <laughs> but the good thing is, as far as I can tell, it has not been hit in the front. There's a lot of value in having a car that hasn't been wrecked in the front. And as far as I can tell, it's pretty straight. There are some rust issues we're gonna fix. This is a little concerning. It looks like maybe there was a fender bender or maybe there was just a bunch of rust and somebody did some work here. Uh, not sure, not really sure what's going on there. It looks like, unless this is factory, and I don't think it is, I don't think the brazing is factory. It looks like they had the fender off at some point. You can see where they put it back here with the brazing. Um, not sure, not really sure. Maybe it got hit a little bit. You know, maybe they just bumped into something or somebody bumped into them just a little bit. There's a little bit of crinkling right here. It doesn't look like anything major. There's a little indent right here. Not sure what that would be from. Definitely have some rust issues. So we're gonna have to replace this whole section here. And the whole fender for the most part is probably gonna get replaced. We might be able to save that one, but I'm gonna see if I can find one that's in better shape. Hopefully they all fit the same. <laughs> Hopefully they all came out of the same die. Same stamping. Um, yeah, this is a little rusty here. I don't know if they make this piece or not. We might just have to patch that. I'm not sure if you're supposed to remove the seam sealer that they have under here. There's a bunch of seam sealer right here underneath this thing. And I think that's part of the problem is the moisture gets in there and it, and it gets trapped, so not quite sure. This area right here is a little rough. But I think once we start cleaning all this metal off of here, we start diving into this, hopefully we'll see some light at the end of the tunnel, but I don't know. We're just gonna keep at it for now. We're, we've gone this far, we can't stop now. Let's keep going. I'm gonna put braces on both sides, 
because I want to start cutting into the the longs here and the outer rocker and all that stuff and take all that off let's do it All right, I think that's pretty good for now. I think uh, that's on there pretty good and that's holding the front and the rear together pretty tight. There's some other stuff still holding it together, obviously, the, the longs and everything, but we're gonna start taking the longs out here, the outer ones anyway right now. So it might start to flex a little bit. So this is, this should keep it from doing that, hopefully. We're gonna put another one on the other side once we start that side. And we'll probably put a couple cross members too once we start getting all that stuff out of there just to keep it together, hopefully, the best we can. All right.
Let's get this. Let's start digging into that. All right, let's start peeling away these layers here. If you were gonna try to save the belongs, um, you'd wanna spot weld all these spots out, drill all these spot welds out and peel it away. But since I'm getting new longs and all this stuff's getting replaced just cause it's so bad. It's really bad guys. So yeah, you could patch it, but it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> it's easier just to buy some new ones and know that it's secure and strong and it's not gonna fall apart on you. So yeah, if you were gonna try to save any of this, you'd wanna obviously drill these spot welds out with a spot weld bit and save as much as you can. But we're not worried about that. So we're just gonna cut, cut, and then cut here somewhere real careful because there's multiple layers of stuff happening in here. Check it out. Ooh, it's scary in there, boy.
A little rusty. <clears throat> little rusty. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Shoot, man. It's hoping it looks better up in there. Uh, just a little surface rust. That's all. Mmm. Yeah, pretty wild, huh? Pretty wild. You can see the back of the uh, the long. It's pretty good. The long's pretty solid along the inside there. And this isn't terrible, but it's just all of the the stuff is just nasty. I want to get this off. Maybe we can just... Peter tube. Ah. Holy crap. Wow, look at that. You can really see how bad it is now. Down here. Top, not so bad. Makes sense, right? All the junk has been sitting down in here. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Man. So we gotta peel that corner away and try not to damage that piece in there. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but I think we might actually drill this out. We're gonna try to peel that back here in a minute with a little more precision. Yeah, this is pretty rough, guys. Pretty rough. I'm gonna leave this for now. Um, I'm gonna order a new one. And looks like we can just clean that pipe up. This is just heavily surfaced. There's a lot of surface rust on there, but I think that pipe will be all right. Looks like it'll be all right. And I think starting right here is a new piece, is a different piece. So that's gonna be pretty, pretty serious uh, operation right there. I mean, that metal looks pretty good up in there. Uh, we might be able to save that. We might be able to just get up in there and clean that really, really, really good. And then obviously patch this or just put a partial section in here, I think is what some of the guys do. But this is, this metal is pretty, pretty solid. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll dig into that here in a little bit. All right, so this is the replacement piece. See this little line right here? That goes there. Looks like a real nice piece. This is restoration design. And I've got this piece here as well. This piece goes here. I just don't know how much of this I'm supposed to save because it's connected to here. So we're really gonna have to take our time with that piece.
Placement piece for this. Pretty sure. Huh. Oh man. All right, guys, I gotta get that longe, I think it's called a longitude, longitude, this panel right here. I gotta get it out of my way because it's gotta come out anyway. And I need to be able to look in here and see what's going on. So I keep hitting my head on this. Let's get it out of there. Man, no, it's not a Milwaukee commercial. I just bought a bunch of tools on my Home Depot card.
Break out the Sawzall. We're probably gonna have to go back further once we get the replacement piece, but I went there because there's a there's a bracket here. I'll try to cut that out separately so we can try to retain that a little bit. You gotta just kind of peel it back in layers and try to make sense of it. And hopefully when you get the new panel, it makes a little sense. I'm gonna cut this bracket here because it's connected. And then we're gonna try to peel this back. Yeah. Apparently that light I knew I needed some more light down here, so it fell right where I needed it. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. That's rough. This is going to have to come out. It kind of curves under there. Yeah. Yep. Let's cut that out with uh, some precision here. Although, this is pretty precise.
see a little better now. guys getting on that <laughs> wow i got a new set i got a new set of light gotta strap that light down or something yeah trying to get some of this stuff out of my way we almost cut right through the dolly there At least now I can stick my head in here and not hit it. Just gotta watch out for this. Probably most of this is gonna come out, I would say probably up to here. But I wanna wait and get that piece and maybe go see a therapist or something and figure out exactly what's going on. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Anyway, I think it's uh, definitely challenging for sure. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna just uh, try to stay focused. It's a little messy, guys. I don't know, not real sure, but I know that the inside of this, I need to peel this away. And the more we peel that out of the way, the better we can see what's going on behind it. And then we'll be able to figure out how to get, hopefully get that piece out behind there. So we can put the new piece in there, slide it up behind here, hopefully. This piece here. So I think once we undo this and clean this, get this off, maybe a little bit more back here, we can we can get that out and slide the new piece in, maybe. Hopefully it's not too entangled in there. But uh, let's see if we can get this intersection off and get this off. Probably, uh, probably gonna have to do it in a couple different areas, like maybe cut here, right up to that pipe, cut that, and then maybe cut
cut here. Try not to cut the pipe because we'll use that for the insert that into the new piece maybe if we can save it. Yeah, let me try to get that off. Holy cow, what a mess. But, gotta make a mess before you can fix it, I guess. It's a little scary, a little overwhelming, but I think I can see how it's gonna fit. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to order some more stuff because I don't have all that. We got the outer rocker and stuff, but we need the inner, I think they're called longs or longitudes. Basically that whole inner panel there on both sides. And then we're gonna need some of this rear stuff back here. So, but before I order anything, I always wanna keep cleaning up in here and get it back to where it looks like it makes sense. Then we'll order that piece. We'll just probably just order this side first. You know, what other little bits and pieces we think we need. Get it all fitted and hopefully we can do it. And then if we are positive we can get that done, then we'll, we'll start on the other side. But I want to get some more of this floor out of here. Um, and then I'm going to call it a day. I clean up and go home and chill out. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get the rest of this floor out of here. It's pretty intense, guys. Pretty intense. there's other I'm sure there's rougher examples out there but this one's pretty bad nice patchwork Look at that crap. I'm going to cut right here and then just try to get some of this out of here. I know there's like a pedal bracket under there. 
Um, wow. Yeah, look at that rigged up piece of metal they had for the pedal bracket. That's not factory. Wow. Can you imagine? The guy driving this thing around probably didn't even know how bad it was. Holy cow. I think I could sleep at night doing a repair like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. I'm not going to take that side out yet. We're going to continue working on this side. I'm going to brace that side before we take any of that stuff out. All that's kind of holding it together right now. Hopefully this is, I marked, uh, I took some mark measurements from here to here, just to make sure I got different points here and different measurements to double check. But I think this'll be, I think this'll hold us in place pretty good for now. Once we start taking the other side apart, uh, I might wait to take all that apart until I start putting this side back on. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty nasty, guys. Pretty nasty. I'm going to leave that pedal cluster there for now. Um, I think. Let me see. Maybe I'll cut it out. It is pretty screwed up. Pretty screwed up. Oh, we're gonna need a new one. Wow. That's crazy. assembly there guys <laughs> and uh in the metal to uh to attach it there in the back it's all rusted out i'm gonna have to make that i think i don't think they make that wow wow do that 
Holy cow. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this one. What a mess. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready to run. <laughs> you better run. I'm ready to run. Holy cow. <sighs> All right, what's next? What's the... <laughs> Go find something else to work on. <laughs> it's a little scary, guys. Nah, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. It's a serious challenge for sure. And it's uh under normal circumstances, you'd probably just be better off finding a car with a lot less rust for sure. Alright, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Let me clean this mess up. Alright, guys, I'm ready to get out of here. Just want to do a final sign off here and show you something real quick check this out this is the foot pedal support bracket that's what they had in there <laughs> so yeah at some point the floors were getting all rusted out and they patched it with some fiberglass patch and rigged up underneath with that thing and I guess it worked for a little while but yeah there's our mess all that stuff and the rear fender over there a couple days of work a few hours here and there um, yeah it's a can of worms guys it is a can of worms so when you're looking for a 914 it might uh, be a good idea to poke around underneath and see how bad the longs are. It's, it's hard sometimes because a lot of times they have carpet and seats and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's, uh, this one's bad. <laughs> but it does have good things. There are good signs. It's the uh, suspension consoles look like they're in pretty good shape. Of course, we still got to dig in deeper, and we're going to find more hiding, I'm sure. So I'm just going to keep going, and hopefully it'll start to make sense here in a little while. But, yeah, it's, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we got some stuff done, you know. It's, uh. This is, this is a, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge, but I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. I can see how it could go together. Once we get this cleaned up, figure out where, where to cut and what pieces we need, I can see it coming together. Um, I'm just going to try to stay focused on this side. And if we can get this side done, then we can get the other side done. And if we can get the other side done, then we can get that front area cleaned up. And we'll just keep focusing on little areas. You know, if you focus on all of it, it's a little overwhelming. But I think we'll get there. And uh, who knows? We'll see. We just got to keep pushing forward. And hopefully <laughs> it's going to come together. It's uh, right now I'm a little unsure, to be honest with you. But I'm going to keep, keep pushing forward. So I appreciate it, guys. See you on the next one. Later.